everyone. We are back in action today. We're going to be doing some monster mashup drawings uh, on our Procreate app today. I am using a random monster generator from uh, getrandomthings.com. So we're just going to be getting three different monsters and making a new combined monster from them. So that'll be super exciting. Chicksoy, welcome in. Hey, how's it going? Hold on. I gotta give you a shout out. Let's see if we can get you your new your new uh clips in here. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you too. Kind of slow getting back into things, nice and lazy. So, I can't believe I did that first try. And look, it's supposed to disappear right now. Hey, it's DK. And it's gone. Can someone clip that, by the way? <laughs> clip that. Yes, yeah, someone clipped it for you. And I'm watching it now. It is not a soft lock. So is that uh, just the regular one, or was that one of the modded versions that you play? I'm gonna turn on some spooky music for us. Oh yeah, the random DK64 clip. I don't know if that specifically should have been a clip. That was interesting, to say the least. Should have been earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, welcome in. Nice to have you. I do have a couple new commands. That I don't know if they are working, and uh, maybe you could help me out. Can you, uh, real quick, just type in exclamation point GGP, Globian Greeting Party? Let's see if it works for us. Here, let me, uh, let me try. <laughs> oh, pizza and uh, yeah, party. <laughs> Yay! It'll work better over here. Now you can see their beautiful faces. I also got another one here, too, as you can see. I'm glad it works. I was afraid that it wasn't going to. Welcome in. Thank you for helping me. And uh, you can also do exclamation point DB for Dino Bash uh, starting today as well. So for those of you who don't know, I'm big into dinos. I love dinos. Oh, that was a Carnosaur. Straight to the face. I have I have eight different dinosaurs and they spawn differently. Oh. <laughs> Got some friends. Uh, yeah, so there's uh, eight different dinosaurs um, in the Dino Bash, and they'll spawn randomly. Testing it out. Thank you. I need all the help I can get. I'm not a very bright gal. <laughs> oh, Ankylosaur. <laughs> or Ankylosaur. Whichever you're inclined to say. I think Ankylosaur is the proper term. All right, let's uh, let's get in here and start out with some drawing. Uh, let me select one of my sketchers here. What's on the Olo agenda today? We're doing monster mashups. So I've got a random monster generator and we're gonna mash up three different monsters together. And that's what we're gonna do. And then maybe later on after stream some live 2D rigging. I'm really close to my 25 follower goal and I kind of promised a fashion showcase for things that aren't rigged yet. I uh, gotta get that done. All right, let's see what our first three monsters are going to be. Okay, and all right, I'm over here. Let's go, 25. I know I'm so close. 
I never thought I'd get this far this fast. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but uh, my original goal was to have 10 by the end of the year. So I doubt myself pretty hard. Okay, so our first one is Banshee, which is like a wailing ghost lady uh, circa Ireland and thereabouts. Got a Yeti. And Cerberus. The dog that guards the gates of hell in uh, Greek folklore. Let me get this in the corner. I don't know how many I'll get through today, but we'll see where we get. Yeti, also known as the name I call Yoshi. <laughs> make this a little thicker for now and let's see so we've got two humanoids and a good old pupper with three heads um so let's see let's think so there's three ways we can go about this we can give the humanoid figure three heads or give like a chimera um, I'm probably gonna draw some stuff as well. Well, congratulations. Thank you for stopping by. And, uh, I hope your art goes smoothly. And, uh, it's fun and stuff and not tedious at all. Because sometimes the thing you're working on is exhausting. Oh, I'm not leaving. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> I enjoy having you around. Okay, let's see. Uh, so we could do... Three heads. We can do a chimera kind of thing where each head is a different thing. I'm just gonna draw alongside. Oh, fun! I can't wait to see what you come up with. Uh, so we can do a humanoid with three heads or a chimera where it's like an animal that has different parts to it. We do each head a different thing. Uh, or we can do a ghost. Like, um, a ghostly creature, kind of. For those of you who don't know, this is how I find my figure shapes. Uh, it's a little different, I've been told. So that's okay. Uh, so we can do, like, a little ghostly figure. And then she could have, like, um... Long hair. And... Let's see. Maybe a long dog-like tail. Um... And then like ghostly, ghostly animal heads that kind of haunt alongside her. I think I like that one. Okay. So now I got my idea down. I'm going to clear this out and start again. I'm going to zoom in here and then I'm going to get my figure shape down. These are going to be storybook style, by the way. I don't really think I can do anything else. Realistic is not my forte. Let's give her a long wispy tail, maybe? The ghost tail? Kind of give her wild hair. This can be like her face area. What do I want her arms to do? Maybe we'll have one coming out here. Resting on... 
our first dog head. Uh, let's see. You should have seen the horror Spelly was doing on her last stream. I had no idea she could draw like that. Yeah, I was uh, sad that I missed a lot of everyone's streams. I'm gonna have to go back and see if I can't catch some of their VODs or catch them on YouTube. Uh, for those who are over there. Because I did a complete cutoff. I was like, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna look at the twits. I'm not going to open the twitches. I'm not going to even touch an iPad. <laughs> So I was completely disconnected for a while. And maybe this one could just be dangling down. Then we can have second ghostly dog head over here and profile. streamed up flow when you were gone so nothing too crazy my crazy stream was yesterday which you saw it was great fun mario party is so fun to play i haven't played it in years though the last time i played it it was um ooh, popping in and out it was um on the wii the mario party for the wii game the original Wii, not the Wii U. I gotta bring myself up a little because I'm peeking under the frame here. Okay, let's see. Mario Party 8 is fun. Okay, that's the one it was. Okay. And then maybe we'll have uh, one of the dog heads over here. Make her like a yeti human hybrid we'll give her some fangs and make her like fluffy and maybe we'll give her like since she's a banshee which is a wailing woman we'll give her like a big poofy coat kind of dress uh what tool are you using that makes the lines move like that uh you, like this <laughs> So uh, the equipment I use is, uh, I've got an iPad, the program I use is Procreate, and I've got the Apple Pencil. The brush that I'm using is one that I've made. So it is just a, a square like brush. Yeah, that kind of warp around in a weird way. Uh, so with Procreate, what they can do is um, let's see. There is a stabilization. Okay, here it is. So there is a stabilization feature where you can adjust this thing called Streamline. So if I turn this down, um, this is the normal one. So this is without stabilization. But this one I have it set to 50. And this is the streamline setting. And so it stabilizes things a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. And then like if it's 50, see the difference in the smoothing? And then there is a little bit of stabilization on this one uh, that was left over from the brush I modified. It's just set to 7%. If I turn it down, you see not a lot has changed. And then if I turn it up, you can see how it affects the lines. So uh, that's something that can be done with Procreate. And you can set each brush differently. So for example, my calligraphy brush is highly stabilized. That way I can write things. in a nice uh, smooth manner. Um, so that's probably what you're seeing. Um, I'm so used to how Psy does stabilization. Yeah, they do it a little differently. Um, 
but uh, overall, I think it's fine. If I had to draw without stabilization, I'd probably be a horrible artist. I'm going to be honest, I am not a good artist. <laughs> I draw from the wrist like a noob. Okay, so I think I've got my basic thought. Let's create the next the next layer. So what I do is I do a basic gesture and then uh, I will come in here and I will uh, with a more stable brush I'll make the details. So this is her face area. So you can see how the stabilization is doing on this one because the stabilization is really high. So we'll give her a broad nose, kind of like a Yeti, with maybe some of the scrunchiness. Uh, I'm used to stabilization now, but I used to draw on paper exclusively, so I would have to adjust again. I used to do paper art only as well, um, but it's been uh, two years, I think, since I've done just like a doodle on like a sketch. Let's see, this has got to be kind of... We'll give her some little fangs and... It's got to be like a screaming kind of mouth. Because she's a banshee. And that's what they do. To put some fuzzy hair, I think, over the eyes. Because Yetis are supposed to have like really long hair. Should I give this ears? Uh, I think not. Okay, let's get. Maybe we'll get her some like little, little tufts on either side. In Banshees, usually when they're depicted, their hair is very wild and like flowing in the wind. Like they got caught in the world's worst wind turbine. Let's maybe get some of that effect in here. I love her hair, thank you. I think I'll only be doing base sketches um, while on stream, and then if I feel so inclined, if I've got time, uh, maybe I'll do some coloring on my own time. Let's get her the like goofy jacket kind of thing. Maybe some inner details as well. You know, it's just kind of generally poofy and not just the edges. And then we'll do the same with her hair. Where am I going? Why am I? Why do I keep shrinking? I'm the spookiest ghost alive. I get big and I get small. But I don't know how to do it on command.
Okay, uh, so I think that's good for this upper bit. Let's get the arm here. This is the one that's going to be coming around onto the the first dog. So let's get this one kind of into place. And then let's get her like a fuzzy cuff. the perspective on this arm a little. I think that's a little better. Oh, the hands. Hmm. Because banshees are very long and wispy. Uh, ghost ladies. So they usually are depicted with very long witchy fingers that are very thin and brittle. But yetis have big meaty paws. So which one do I want to go with? Hmm. We'll come back to it. I think this arm will just have to, um... I don't know if I want that arm to dangle anymore. That's kind of boring. When banshees scream, they typically have their arms outstretched. So maybe I can have one of them do that. Let's get rid of that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this and try again. a little too beefy, I think. Maybe I don't like the outstretchedness after all. bad habit. For some reason I make the forearms on humanoid creatures curve. But they're not like that at all. They, they're kind of straight. But for some reason I do like this. That's not how they do. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my looser brush. Let me see how I want. Maybe I could do it like she's kind of crawling with this one and we'll make her ghost tail kind of come back here instead and kind of follow the curve of the hair so they're kind of the same. I think I like that idea. I'm gonna bring this one down, bring down its opacity too. 
And since she's going to be crawling, I think I will give her uh, more Yeti-like arms. go ahead and distort this. I didn't get quite the right perspective I wanted. Let's kind of make it coming at the viewer. We got to kind of adjust the middle here as well. Kind of like this. Yeah. And then I'll just go through and clean up some of these fuzzier looking lines. Okay, I'll merge that. Go ahead, kind of map out the hand here. So this thumb's gonna be kind of splayed out. Let's give her long nails too. Because both Yetis and Banshees, I think, are usually depicted with long nails. Kind of like this. I probably won't get that dramatic a perspective. It's a little too dramatic a perspective for me. Maybe something more like this. Yep. And then... For this hand, the thumb's there. Let's just kind of have it resting like this. Kind of curled fingers, maybe here at these tips with the long nails. And then we'll have some fur too, I think, peeking out from under the fur coat. But she'll have like some fur on her hands, I think would be neat. Same here. Gonna lower the perspective on that, or the opacity, I mean. And let's come work on the hard bits first. I am not very good at perspective. So let's see how this goes. Nails kind of curve around like this. You want to be seeing very much at the top of it. Let's... Hmm. I don't think I want to do that. If I do a color, I'll go in and I'll make her palms lighter. Hey, Reko! Welcome in! Thank you for stopping by. Nice to see you. Been a minute. Let me give you a proper shout out. Let's mute this. So good to see you. Let's see what we get. Yeah, right, Spelly. No one believes that for a second. <laughs> did it? Oh, did it not play? Oh, no. Okay, so I clicked on the wrong setting. What happened there was Spelly, um, Spelly was trying to convince everyone that she didn't know much about anime and that she's only seen a handful. So... 
No one believes that for a second. At least I don't think. I wasn't satisfied with that. I'm going to do another one. I figured out what the problem was. The problem was me all along. Usually is. Photoshop? I don't even know what that means. Photoshop. Oh. <laughs> Photoshop. I've done that a couple times where it takes me a minute to realize a word is actually a word. Let's get this played. I muted the wrong channel, is what it was. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat the question? Um... I don't know, but I'm sorry, I'm having a gilly brain moment. I'm not quite sure where we're where we're at. I'm wondering if we're in a delay or something. Um I don't know if I had a question, did I? I'm sorry. I'm not the brightest gill in the lab. Um let's see. Uh People couldn't hear the audio. Uh, it was because I muted the wrong channel. Because I got gilly brain. Uh, and then I gave you another shout out and it was about the Photoshop. I'm sorry. I'm not good at anything, really. But today, we're being not good at mashing up monsters. So, gosh darn you ads! Okay, um... This is our first monster mashup. And our monsters were Banshee, Yeti, and Cerberus. So banshees are from Celtic folklore and they're screaming ghost women. Yetis are of course the like Himalayan Bigfoot. They're giant white apes. And then Cerberus is the three-headed dog at the gates of hell in Greek folklore. So what we've decided to do is a yeti ghost with floating dog heads. And I'm working on the perspective of the hands. Right now. Let me just make sure I'm on the right brushes and everything. And we're going to continue. How's your day been, Reko? I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Wherever you are in the world. For me here, it's already Halloween. And then tomorrow, I'll be selling Halloween again. Selling. Yes, I am selling Halloween. Uh, bids start at uh, 2,000... Uh, what do humans like? Um, 2,000 candies. You can have all of Halloween for 2,000 candies. Double Halloween, let's go! The benefit of uh, streaming from a different country than America. I get to celebrate it twice. Okay, this one's gonna have kind of a different perspective on it. Kind of like this. Yeah, we are gonna be seeing more of the side here on this one. And I need to adjust that a little bit, so I'm going to come in here with my selection tool. And we're going to kind of distort it. Let's see. Uh, 
I actually think it needs to be out more is the problem. And since we're to the side, we are going to be seeing a little more of the, the shape. Anyway, what I meant to say earlier, not so eloquently, is I get to celebrate Halloween twice. Every holiday gets a double day for me. I realized what is causing me to zoom in and out. <laughs> like a spooky zoomy ghost. I need to fix this nail a little. Have a good time, Rico. Have a nice, nice alert. I hope you enjoy these spooky chill Halloween beats. It's just a playlist I found that I really like. I think I need to change some perspectiveing on this nail a little. And this one will be like completely in profile. The nail doesn't need to be that long. Need to kind of erase the top there. I made it really tiny in the corner in case we made a lot of monsters today, but I don't know if we're going to make that money. We're already an hour in and I've only done part of the one. There I go more like that. I think I'm going to make her bigger. Still got the store done. I'll make her bigger later. I don't want to mess up the line thickness. Uh, some paint programs have this nifty feature where the line thickness adjusts to the resizing, so the line thickness is the same. Procreate is not one of those. Good job. Well, thank you. Let's work on this other hand. I'm not good at hands. Why are hands so hard, Jexoid? Why are human hands so complicated? Weird little sausage hook. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a secondary shaping here before I... Let's see, one, two, three. Took me a long time to understand hands. Why are hands so hard to understand? Kind of curve there. I don't think we are going to see the thumb. So there's that. And then I also need to make it kind of smaller because it's further away than this front hand. But I think that's a decent enough shape because it's about as complex as drawing a whole body. Yeah, it's something, that's for sure. Get the little long fingernail over there. That wasn't proper. It's 
maybe they'll see a little bit of the pad of this one in the nail. I keep zooming all the way out. I don't mean to do that. I don't think so. I forget there's going to be a dog there. So let's not. Okay, get rid of this and this. Let me do some adjusting where you did. She's gonna have a little bit bigger hand than a normal banshee, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and merge these down. Banshees uh, don't usually have legs. They're not usually depicted as leg having creatures. They usually have long flowing dresses. Um, so we're just going to give her a long flowing tail wisp. And I think we'll separate the hair too. So let me actually undo the tail wisp and let's get some definitive um, shaping of this hair first. The spooky music is having a field day right now. Oh, the spooky musician is having a field day right now. They're going in with all the sound effects. All the spooky ghost doos. All the little booty doos. Let me come over here. Let me see if they've got... The music is by Lo-Fi Geek. Uh, if you're interested in supporting them. Uh, Lo-Fi Geek over on Spotify. I love the spooky ooze right now. I always love some spooky ooze. Okay, now that we've got the hair, let's get like a ghostly tail. And then maybe we'll get a little bit of an indicator of a coat here. And then we'll have it kind of fall away and become part of the ghostly figure. Speaking of figure, I forgot to give this lady a torso. Send me a leak when you can. I will. I'll send it to you over in the uh, in our Discord chat. Okay, I think we've got our main uh, portion down. Let's get in some ghostly dog heads now. And I think I could go ahead and delete um, these sketchy layers. And that's our ghost banshee yeti. Uh, let's work on the Cerberus part. Let me get my sketcher here and let's try to get some, some good old dog boys in here. The hair is my favorite part. Thank you. To be honest, um, a hairy ghost would kind of be scary. I think any ghost would kind of be scary, but there's something otherworldly about having... Ooh, 
I know. I, so have you ever seen like Soul, e um, Soul Eater, the anime or the manga? The way they portray souls is they've got these little wispy tails on them, but then each character has like their own face. Maybe I'll do that for the dogs. Where they're like dog orbs. Dog soul orb face, yes. Gosh darn you, ads. We need our spooky ooze. Okay, so we'll do it like this. This one can have floppy ears. And since he's like under her arm, he's going to be like happy. Happy pupper. And then we can have this one here. We'll make it behind the arm. And then like the wisp can come out this way and curl around. Kind of like a shy dog. I'll give him some long pointy boys. You know, just a lady out walking her dogs in the middle of a snowstorm, screaming at the top of her lungs. As you do. And then let's have this one kind of coming from the hair. Love those expressions. Thank you. I don't like that tail list, but I'm going to do it again. This one can be like the excited dog. Well, he looks bored there. <laughs> I made the bored dog. Let's get a closer look. Little ghost tongue. We'll give this one fat ears. Fat pointy. Okay. That's me when I wake up. I like the one on the left. Who wants to wake up? It's just a bleh. Just a bleh time. Okay. Now we'll get in here and do the real work for it. I kind of love this wibbly wobbly line of a mouth this one has. I need to fix it. do this again. We're gonna we'll put the ear in here and everything and then I'm going to get a proper circle.
And here's the reason why. I'm going to erase back here in these places. But the circle is the main part of the soul, I guess you can say. The main part of the dog. And then we're going to kind of have like a spectral outline. That leads to the tail. I could do I could do a better wiggly tail there. So it's a little bit more seamless. Yeah, his eye would be right where that finger is. But I can get in a little part of his ear here. That's the wrong place for an ear. It looks weird, but I think that's how it would look. Let's get our second dog friend. This one is scared by mortals. Can't really blame him though. Some big wet eyes. Okay, then let's do the the thing. We'll kind of put a circle there. We'll kind of erase here where his ears are fixing to go. That's the eraser. Okay, and then we'll do the kind of spectral outline. with the tail that wraps around. Get our excited boy in here. I'm gonna get his ears in. into proper shape. And then So for the spectral outline, here's what I'm going to do. Some 
there be truly lies over here? Let's get rid of the outlines and erase away the parts of the banshee that wouldn't be showing. Which really isn't a lot, it's just in the places where their center orbs are. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn down the eraser opacity and just lightly erase away her lines that are in the spectral zone. Kind of give it a, you're still looking through it kind of feel. And I notice there is something that I need to fix on her. Let me turn this opacity back up. Gonna turn the eraser down. Oh, is that the dog? That was the dog. Just need to erase out where the fluffy cuff is. And I think that's it for our first one. We gotta give her a name though. Hmm. Gotta give, gotta give her a monster name. because um, we could do a mashup of the other three monsters or we can come up with something completely new. Uh, I'm going to get my calligraphy brush out. The ban yeast. That actually does sound pretty good. So let's work with something like that. So let's do the combination. But I like your first part. Maybe the Banuris. said I'd make her larger. And it looks like we'll only have time for two, so maybe I'll get her onto this side of the screen. She'll take up this half. Okay, let me do a quick um, canvas flip. See where we are. She's very slanty. But I think that's okay in the context of what's happening. I don't think I actually need to adjust her. All right, we'll uh, flip it. Flip! Looks good to me. Well, that's good. So this will be 
our first monster. And let me, um, we'll get up here and we'll do a little, little thing where we say what she's combining. I gotta look up how to spell Banshee again. Goodness, like I haven't been looking at it all stream. Yeah, it's just like it sounds. It's a Banshee. Plus, how my pluses look like T's. Cerberus. Maybe I'll move that to like down here and we'll move her up. All right, let's get a second one in. We have time for a second one. I gotta do it again because it literally gave me Bigfoot as one of them and I feel that's really really close to Yeti. Yeti and Bigfoot is oh, okay I was gonna say it's always in one of these. Yeti and Bigfoot have a big bias in this generator. Uh, so here's what I'll do. We've got Cyclops as a new one. Oh, I forget. I'm going to clear this. I just need my loose brush so I know what I'm doing. Cyclops. Basilisk. And th the third one was Banshee again, so I'm just going to generate a new one. Vampire. Okay, so vampire, I'm guessing more Bram Stoker esque bloodsucker, uh, cursed being of the night. Uh, Cyclops was Greek, uh, was in Greek mythology. It was a humanoid creature that was giant in stature and had one eye in the middle of its forehead. Uh, probably inspired when they found elephant skulls and saw the big hole in the center that was actually the nasal cavity. Uh, but they didn't understand that at the time. So they're like, gee, that's one big eye. Um, and then the basilisk I forget where it's from, but basically it's a fire breathing chicken with a snake tail. Let me look up where it's from. Uh, European bestiary. So I guess just generally European. Um, but basically if it it was like a medusa if it looked at you you'd turn to stone um and some have different variations where if it breathed on you you turn to stone um old folk tales be like that i am very interested yeah basilisk um why do I know so much about a basilisk? It really, literally, if you look up the old timey pictures, it is a chicken with like a dragon tail. And it had eyes or breath, depending on the the folklore, that turned you to stone. Um, so we've got Cyclops, Basilisk, Vampire.
So here's what we're working with. Let's do some idea uh, searching. So Cyclops, they're going to have one eye. By the way, Cyclops girls and monster animes are always best girl. So they're going to have one eye in the center. Um, they're vampires, so they're going to have to have pointy fangs. Uh, let's see. And then Basilisk. Gotta appreciate the one-eyed waifus. Uh, yeah, Leela being the original one. Original Cyclops best girl. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll make her like anime waifu-esque. So she's going to be humanoid. And for some reason, all Cyclops anime waifus have the same haircut. And it's like this, this bang bob. I think I know what I'm going for now. Let's get rid of this and let's do the real pose searching. I think I'm going to kind of have her over here. Maybe more this way, like this. Giving you a little bit of the, the side eye. But I think for this one, I'll have her be the kind that turns you to stone with her breath. So we'll give her some vampire fangs. We'll have her mouth kind of like slightly open. And I'll get like a misty brush or something and we'll do like a misty breath cloud. Like she's breathing out smoke. of doing a sitting pose. Just so she's on the same level as the Banshee, because the Banshee's on crawling around on her arms. Um, I think I'll have her legs like this, maybe her hand coming around this one. And then she'll have the serpent tail, which usually has a point on it. I don't know why I know so much about basilisk, but I do. Like a pointy triangle. And then we'll have some good old hip wings. You know how the waifu do. Since she's shy, they'll kind of be coming around to hug her. And maybe um, we'll do a, like a feather in her hair. Kind of bring the basilisk up to the other part. I'll get her some nice, pretty eyelashes. Okay. Turn this down and let's get to refining this. Yeah, 
you ever feel like sometimes your base sketches look better than your finished work? I get that feeling a lot. Probably because there's so much detail in my base sketches that I lose in my refined work. How do the eyelash do? Do you ever do an art and you're just like, how do? How? Not this. That's not how. I just looked at that on the second screen and I was like, oh god. Okay, so this first part's fine. Already cute. Thank you. You gotta make her waifu-esque. The Banyuras was already kind of a babe, but now we gotta make... Now we gotta make her Cyclops babe. Lo-Fi Geek is one of my favorite lo-fi artists. They've been around for a while. Let's see. Kind of? Next day on the last day. We'll come back to it. Nope, that's not it. Maybe if I color it, I'll go and give her yellow eyes, like glowy eyes, like a vampire. Give her a beautiful curved nose. You don't see that a lot. People don't typically like depicting women with anything other than a button nose. I think defined noses are really cute. I'm gonna need to decide if I want the mouth open. Maybe not like that. That's a little snakeish. Hmm. Forget in vampires, they're curved this way. Kind of like a snake with its fangs extended.
that thing looking a little too snake. That's so curved. Didn't mean to do that. Let me zoom back in, procreate. Ugh. Okay, I think that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna change this a little. figure out where her hair is going to be. Always, they're always kind of, the bangs are always kind of hiding the eye. It's always something they're kind of ashamed of for some reason. But I guess that'd be, they're in a world where everyone else has two eyes. So maybe that's why they're shy about it. Even if nobody openly picks on them for it. Like that is a perfect circle. Let's undo that actually. Look at the arc up here. Or not. Procreate said so nah, not today. redo her face too. Something about that shape's not sitting right with me. I need to turn up my eraser brush again. I think it's fine up to there. But that four headline was. Maybe something like this. Did that on the wrong layer? Okay. I need to do an adjustment here. And bring this part down a little. decide on some kind of fashion for her as well. I 
think I'm going to change the shape of her eye. I think instead I'm going to have her kind of half lidded. And that doesn't look right now, but that's okay. Because I'm actually going to come in here and redo it completely. So that's going to be where the eye normally goes. Give her kind of a more squished area here. And I think here is kind of where we'll have the eye. And we'll get rid of this. And then we'll just have lid indication. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little rotating too. That eye is a little too slanted for my liking. I think I need to make it just a little smaller. Okay. Let me get my sketcher here. So this is her neck. Let's choose like a outfit for her. That leg is going to be kind of far in. kind of her general shape. Let's see, there's going to be a neck hereabouts too. That's her neck. That's her neck. I need to do some adjustment on positioning. like this maybe. Okay and I have to keep in mind there is going to be a wing nub here connecting to the back and a tail. So maybe let's give her a sleeveless look. choker necklace with like the evil eye on it that'd be pretty neat not gonna be a back to this so let's go back actually we'll have it around her neck 
with the Joker at the top. And the evil eye. And So Bing's actually going to be covering up a lot of this. So I'm not going to worry about the bottom half. And then we'll just give her tall boots. Ooh, better. Let's get rid of these. And then let's give her basilisk feet. Back to our stable brush. Gonna get the shape of the collar here. be sitting in this angle. For those who may not know, the evil eye is a Hindu symbol and it's actually not what it means. It's not an evil eye. The eye is to ward off evil um, because if it's looking out for you, your enemy can't sneak up on you. So it's supposed to help ward off evil, so it's a protection symbol. Tend to give humans big shoulders. Any human I draw, humongous shoulders. I'll get back to the hand here in a second. There we go. Much more better shoulder. Better size shoulder. Get in this leg. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna do too much where the wing is. I've made that mistake before where I've made a complete under sketch and erased everything and it just made me sad. So we're not gonna worry with it. that wing in since it is going to be the biggest part. Let's see. We'll have kind of like the elbow right there. We'll give it a little bit of fuzziness. And then the main 
wing fold here. Okay, then we'll go erase away all the stuff it covers. And we'll get some feathers in here. And then really the only other part they're going to be seeing is the tail from this end. So let's get that finished. And they usually have very long whip-like tails. With the pointed triangle end. Okay, I can't put off doing the hands for too much longer, but we can give her the feather. completely get rid of the first one and then for this just so I can see everything a little clearer okay what's harder to draw a human hand or a chicken foot We're about to find out. Chickens have the long claw. The answer is the human hand is way harder to draw. Why are chicken feet so much easier to draw? Give them those little toe scales. And I just gotta kind of repeat that back there. This one's gonna be in a little bit different perspective. up this junction a little. Oh, 
And then maybe I'll just do kind of a hint of the second one over here. I think I'm gonna give her some like leggings there. And I need to fix this leg shape. Just overall. Her foot too small. I need to go back and redo it, but also legs don't have that dramatic of a oh, is that on her foot? That sure is. Okay. Gotta kinda increase that foot size back there. Maybe right there. Also raise this phantom knee. the harpy do? That made me help me. How does... How do a harpy do? I think I need to come back down here. I definitely need to stretch out this back toe. It's a little too short. I'm not going to have to do that thing where I erase away most of that foot again. I was so proud of it. Bye bye. to fix this still and then I move, need to move on to some hands because I don't got a lot of time left I gotta get her done 
Hey, let me block in some handshakes. Only the pinky would be visible from this side. And then she's got fingers curling around here. I think we'll have one hidden behind here. It'll be like that. Uh, maybe a second wing over here. Maybe a second finger there. Give her a fingernail there. And come down here and I'm on the wrong layer. Here. Erase back the It's okay. Brace back some of these. I need to fix it first hand there. Let me get over here real quick. Put in the second wing. This hand. I need to erase up here. I need to not show as much nail up there. That just looks like a horrible hand. Goodness, let's clear all that away. See if I could get a hand. Last seven minutes to try. I think part of the problem is this arm is too wide. have it like this and call it good. <laughs> I think I may have to do that. Not at the skill yet to show that hand. Maybe someday in the future. Okay, let's get rid of our under sketch. And let me let me look at my splatter brushes. I 
Mm, it's probably not what I'm going for. I need, maybe we'll do a soft brush. Face. Gray color. Trying to get that stone breath. Missed. Turn this down. And then let's get the splatter brushes. Maybe even all good. That will do splatters. Too large. Too small. There we go. Kind of like she's breathing out granite dust. Just fix up some of these lines. They're kind of tangent. Resized. We'll group these together and get her resized. Boy, I did her at a much smaller brush size. Get my calligraphy brush. Cyclops, Basilisk, Vampire. I'm gonna write this small and then we'll uh, enlarge it. over. Oh, I have some room. I made that R way too long. I'm actually going to have to shrink this so I can get it in there. But now we need a name. Let 
we can follow the naming convention of the other one. First, let me increase the size of this. I'll get a little ants. Oh, oh, later. Um, Pleasant name. Hi, Bear. All right, and I think that's all about the time we have for today. I think I will go in later today before I post these and give them a color. Just maybe something simple. But let me zoom in so everyone can actually see. See the creations. We got our Banshee Yeti Cerberus and our Cyclops Basilisk Vampire. Looking good. Okay, so that's all the time we have for today. Shorter streams are really much harder on me. I didn't realize how much I relied on the three hour format during the art sessions. So it's going to be interesting to see how the music goes tomorrow. See how far we go. Uh, we will be trying to make some spooky music tomorrow uh, in celebration of Halloween in the United States. You did great. Well, thank you, Jigsoy. And uh, I'll DM you the link for this playlist and everything. I was drawing. So sorry about the slow reply. No worries. I understand. I hope your drawing went well. So that's all we have time for today. I do have three viewers, so let me see. Let me see if I have anyone that could use a raid. None of my friends are online. <laughs> okay, let's Let's see if we can find someone who's also doing a nice chill art stream. Yeah, it looks like everyone has taken today off to prepare for tomorrow, the spookiest day of all. Let's, uh, let's go find a nice digital artist. Kind of keep it in the theme for today. We're going to uh, let's read someone doing some commission art. Let's see if they're they're up for it. All right, give me a second. Okay, it looks like they're not talking on their stream. So they're just doing some good art to some modern music. Uh, so it'll be good for the lurking and good for the drawing. So they are 32 mode. They're doing some commission art right now. Uh, let me go ahead and put in our raid message. So if you got a chance, copy this message and uh, we'll go give them a nice hello. So that's it for 